Hey guys, I wanted to do sort of a quick update video on finishing your silver ingot. Uh, I was using this product last night called Flitz. This is metal polish. This is for all metals. I was using this on one of my guns last night and I was really surprised with the results that I got from using this polish which has no abrasives in it. Uh, I was using this on stainless steel on one of my guns and it took an absolutely dull uh, matte finished piece of stainless and turned it into a mirror polished shine using just this and my Dremel here with a little buffing wheel. So I want to try it on my silver ingot from the part two video. Uh, this is the same same exact ingot from that video that I made and it's it's got some scratches on it and it never really was a mirror finish to begin with it's really shiny right now but it's not a mirror polish uh, so I think I can get this looking a lot better by using this flitz I, I did have some scratches and some dents in this bar there's a little dent right there in the corner you know I've dropped this bar probably a hundred times so uh, I never really did get out all the scratches on it from my sanding so I'm gonna sand the bar with some uh, I have some 220 grit paper I'm gonna start with that then I'm gonna move up to a 400 grit then an 800 grit and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the flitz on it to finish it off and that's really gonna give it that mirror polish shine I did start the sanding on this edge of the bar. Uh, this is where the main main scratches were going vertically. From when I sanded it, you know, I, I didn't have a real fine grit paper. I was probably just using 220 and then I tumbled it. So I've been working on that a little bit, trying to get some of those scratches out. I'm going to hit it with the 400 and the 800 all over the bar and we'll see what the flitz can do to it. So I got my sandpaper here and I'm just sort of working in a circular motion here getting out some of the scratches that were on the bar and whenever I can do a very good job finishing it uh, that's going to put obviously some some scratches in it. This is 220 that I'm using. I'm only using this on this one side because this is a side that, that was really bad so I'm using the 220 first to try and get out some of the big scratches and then we'll start with the 400 grit this is wet or dry automotive sandpaper uh, doesn't matter if it's wet or dry uh, sandpaper you can use regular sandpaper just as long as it's 400 grit and I'm gonna start using this on the whole bar as well once I'm done with this move up to the 800 just going in a circular motion. This is not removing hardly any material. Obviously it's putting scratches in the finish, but when we move the 800 that'll take out those scratches, replace them with finer scratches. You don't have to stop at 800 grit either. I mean you could go as far as you want. You could go to 2000 grit if you feel like it. The finer the grit you go to before you do the final polishing with the flitz, uh, the shinier, the more mirror finish it's going to be. I only have 800, that's the finest I have. So that's what I'm going to use, and we're going to see how it turns out. Alright guys, so I've finished all my sanding. I started out with 220, went to 400, and then went to 800. I rinsed the bar off with a little soapy water, and this is what I'm left with. You can see now that it's a sort of a satin finish, it's not shiny anymore you can see the marks from the sandpaper again go up to the highest grit sandpaper that you're comfortable with uh, this will polish out nicely I finished with the 800 and I should have no problems getting this to look really nice remember about this flitz though this is not a scratch remover okay this is simply a polish so you can't expect it to work miracles you can't uh, you know use 120 grit sandpaper on this or something and then expect it to be a, a mirror polish with just using the flitz 
So work up to the finest sandpaper you can or that you have available and then use the flits on your final uh, final buff. So I'm just going to grab a little bit. You're supposed to shake it up really good. Again, this is the liquid. The uh, paste versions probably would probably work a little bit better because it sort of flings this stuff all around whenever you hit it with the Dremel. You can let this dry on there if you want, but I don't really see the need to. I just use it while it's still wet. I got my Dremel here, and I'm going to start on low. This Dremel only has two settings, low and high, so high is uh, 30,000 RPMs. <clears throat> so I'm going to start on low, which is 15,000. Just going to get a little bit of this excess on my wheel. And I'm going to shut my mouth now, and we're going to see what happens. When you see the paste start to turn black, you know it's doing its work. You get sort of a black, gooey residue. You can see already it's starting to get shiny. Again, I'm on a low setting here, just for the first pass. When I finish, I'll finish on the high setting on my Dremel. I'm just going to do one side for you guys on the low and then on the high and then I'll finish the bar and come back and show you the the end product once I'm all the way done polishing the entire bar just keep the Dremel moving don't hold it in one spot Alright, so that's on the low setting. You can see it's already starting to get a nice shine to it. You can see the camera there and the reflection. Compare that to the back, which is not done. And already I can see we're getting a nice result. I'm going to add a little bit more flits here. And then I'm going to put this on the high setting on my Dremel. Just smear that on there, get rid of the excess, get the excess off on your wheel. Again, you want to see this turn black. That's how you know it's polishing the, the metal really good. So I'm going to go on high this time, give it a quick... Once it takes all the flits off, that's pretty much the end of the buffing. If you want to uh, keep adding more and keep polishing it, you can go ahead and do that. 
I can see it's coming out really nice here. Let me stop the Dremel. Let me wipe my hand off here, please. So this is where we're at so far. Already, that is twice as shiny as it ever was with just the tumbling. And you can see I only worked on that for just a couple of minutes. You know, not long at all. And the shine on there is just unbelievable. I am going to hit this a couple more times. I'll do the whole bar. Then I'll come back. Again, here's the side that was sanded and not hit with the flits. Compare that to the side with the flits. And the longer you work on this, the better it's going to be. Again, start out at a slow setting on your Dremel. Hit it, go over it a couple times, and then move up to a high setting and hit it again. So I'm going to come back at, with the video here once I'm all done and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so here's the final result of using the Flitz polish on the silver bar. came out really nice. It does have a mirror finish now on the entire bar. It's extremely shiny. Almost looks like chrome. That's how shiny it is. So I would recommend using the Flitz. If you're following my series of videos on making these silver bars at home, once you take the bar out of your tumbler, I would suggest using the Flitz on it as your final polish. That's really going to shine it up if you're going for that mirror finish and you can see the results speak for themselves Flitz is an excellent company they offer a ton of different products I have some of their wax as well uh, they make a gun wax which you can also apply to this if you want pick up some of their gun wax that'll keep it free of tarnish for six months and like I said I think the results speak for themselves excellent results with minimal work this whole polish took me maybe 20 minutes 10 minutes of sanding and 10 minutes with the Dremel and the polish and you can see here's some of the uh, the wax from Flitz you can see that mirror shine I mean you can read the words from this bottle on the bar so excellent excellent stuff the wax is about five dollars. You can pick it up on eBay, like I said, or go to flitz.com. Check out check out their whole uh, lineup. I recommend it highly. And again, like I said, if you want to protect it, get some of their wax and apply it. I actually did stick a little bit of wax on this, and that'll keep it free of tarnish for six months. So that's a quick update on the uh, making your silver bars at home I would take it right out of the tumbler and use the flits on it for sure excellent stuff check them out thanks for watching the video guys Boochie Boy out